regardless of what people think or how they feel or what they like. Kanye West doing what he's doing is very, very important. He's not waffling. He's not slowing down. Uh, he's not stopping this energy. And he's, he's not apologizing like pretty much every celebrity is. And he wrote a new song explaining his views and defending his views on Trump. And it is, it is very, very genius level stuff. And it's very, very important for the culture. And it's reaching a market. It's reaching a people, millions of people, tens of millions of people. Fashion, he's one of the biggest fashion icons right now. I'm just being honest. Yeezys are expensive shoes and people love them. Uh, hip hop music. I mean, this guy has tens of, if not hundreds of millions of people under his influence. So the fact that he's saying this stuff, regardless of if he speaks how you want him to speak or whatnot, um, you know, this is some very important stuff. So the song is with T.I., who's a, a rapper from Atlanta, who I also really like. Um, and the song is a back and forth about, um, you know, T.I. is basically like the people saying, dude, how are you selling out? Kanye, you're a sellout. You know, you're lame. And you, you, why do you like Trump? You know, you're, you're all these bad things. And it's Kanye defending himself. So it's a back and forth. And I'm going to read you some clips of, of what he said. And it's, it's really, really dope. Um, so, you know, at one part he said, you just read in the headlines, you don't see the fine print. You want some choose and size shit? I'm on some unified shit. And then he says, um, I never stop fighting for the people. Actually wearing the hat, the MAGA hat, shows people that we are equal. Um, see, the problem is with this damnation, all blacks got to be Democrats, man. We ain't made it off the plantation. I mean, th he's saying this in a rap song. This is, this is huge for the rap community. He, he says, see, that's the problem with this damnation. All blacks got to be Democrats, man. We ain't made it off the plantation. Um, I'm going down. He said, if you want, he said, uh, I feel an obligation to show people new ideas. And if you want to hear them, here's two right here. Make America Great Again had a negative reception. I took it, wore it, rocked it, gave it a new direction, added empathy, care, love, and affection. And y'all simply questioning my methods. So he's defending the MAGA hat. He's explaining that. And uh, there, there's another part that I think is really, really dope and, and really powerful. I'm, I'm going to get to it real quick. Um, you know, and then between all these lines, you got to listen to it. I'll post it in the link below. But um, T.I., every time he says something, T.I. says, oh, blah, you're, you're faking. You know, why are you doing this? And he, he said, I know everybody's emotional. Is it better if I rap about crack, huh, because it's cultural? Or how about I'm going to shoot you or F your B-I-T-C-H? Or how about all this Gucci because I'm effing rich? So... What he's saying is, and, and I think that's really a good point that all of the haters in the hip hop community, um, you know, who are good people, I'm sure, but they're like all mad at Kanye. He's like, would you rather me just rap about crack because it's culture or say I'm going to shoot you? And it's like a lot of the rappers that are dissing Kanye for talking about this stuff. This is what they rap about. I'm not saying all the rappers like Chance the Rapper doesn't rap, rap about that. Chan Chance is really dope and positive. But a lot of these rappers are like, F Kanye, man, he's a sellout, bro. He's lame. He's a, he's a coon and calling him all these names. They're the ones just rapping about crack all the time and rapping about shooting people and, and you know, having sex. And I'm not, I don't care. There's a time and a place for every rap. I'm not like an old hater, like, oh, don't rap. About, but how are you going to be mad at Kanye for trying to unite people? All of the things I just read, he's trying to unite people. He's taking a negative stigma. He says, you're not reading the headlines. You're, you're just reading the headlines. You don't read the fine print. That's totally true. That's what everybody's doing. They just read the headlines and they don't read the fine print. They believe what the, the, the media has said about MAGA. They've taken the one pessimistic view and that's what the media does. They, they take the most pessimistic view, the most negative view, the most divisive view, and they make everyone believe it. So he defended the MAGA hat. He said he had it in his, his uh, closet for a year and a half. So Kanye's had a MAGA hat for a while. And he said, eventually, I just said, you know what? I'm a rocket. And I don't care, like, you know, the whole song's like, I don't care if this ruins my career. Like, this is what I need to do. So to, to people that were questioning Kanye, some people said, oh, he's just doing it because of a stunt. He doesn't really believe this. No, no, no. Kanye is really enlightened. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not saying this just to toot to our horns. He's watching Jordan Peterson videos, okay? He's watching Candace Owens videos. He's, I mean, it's just crazy. And this is also, I, I want to say real quick, not to pat myself on the back as well, but just as an inspiring thing is we can change the world, okay? A lot of people question me. I've lost a lot of friends. I've lost a lot of friends in the hip hop community. And I mean, I, we're still friends. I'm sure we'll talk in a year or something and it's not a big deal. But people say to me, Anomaly, how dare you say all this stuff? What, who do you think you are? Like you used to be an activist and blah, 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 this and that. But I explained, just like I talked about Daryl Davis, love goes further, okay? Love changes the world. I am in a position right now 
where I'm a phone call away from President Trump. I'm not saying I could get on the phone with him right now, but I, I talk to people and I hang out with people who President Trump calls, okay? They share my videos, okay? My, my uh, tweets on Twitter and, and my posts on Facebook, they're getting retweeted by people in the industry, people connected to Kanye West, you know, people that are, I mean, bona fide celebrities. I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying that anything is possible. Kanye said in this song too, now I know I can be president. So this is the optimistic side that the media doesn't say. You can be president. You can do anything. If you spend all your energy hating, what are you doing? You're just hating. You're putting a lot of negative energy. I'm nice and I'm, I'm optimistic and I have now impacted the world and I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back. Like I don't, I don't think I have everything to do with it, but I know I found Candace Owens' video when it had like 100,000 views or 80,000 views. I uploaded that on my, my other page and I shared it to help her get a promotion because she's a brilliant mind and I knew she would be successful anyway. I'm not saying I made it, but I took it from 80,000 views and I gave it 24 million views. It's her biggest video to date. You know, she even credits me on her Instagram and says Anomaly made my Charlottesville video go wild. So I, you know, I made that get 24 million views because I'm not a hater. If I was a hater, I'm not saying this to brag, I'm saying this is, should be inspiring to people. If I was just hating, I'd be doing nothing. I'd be sitting in my room and not making an impact, but I go from sharing that video, she's a massive success because she's very intelligent and well-spoken, and she's on Fox News now, and she said something that now just made it to a Kanye West uh, song. You know, he said, Democrats ain't been off the plantation. I'm not saying that Candace made that up or Kanye got that, but I, I can almost guarantee you, especially that he tweeted, I like the way Candace thinks, I guarantee he watched a Candace Owens video and Candace Owens, you know, watched people like uh, Larry Elder, who's uh, from South Central in Los Angeles, who is a big conservative, who says that all the time. But that's something that he was saying. His energy reached Candace. You know, I saw what she was doing. I tried to blast her out to the world. And now her ideas and what she's saying are in a Kanye West song. So this is how love and good energy and being optimistic can change the world. We are literally shifting the culture as we speak. It's very, very exciting. Kanye's watching Jordan Peterson videos and Scott Adams videos and Candace Owens videos and you know who knows what he's watching. President Trump is retweeting my friends. You know, my, like people that I hang out with that I, I respect and I, I love as, as people, they're getting shared by Donald Trump Jr., okay? We're, we're shifting culture. We are shifting the world right now because we're optimistic and we're happy and we're appreciative and we're grateful. So, you know, good energy like Kanye West is trying to bring and he's saying, what do you want me to do? You, w would you be happy? Oh, I'd, I'd be so real if I talked about crack and drugs and uh, you know, I, I like songs about you know, drugs and crack sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, like some old, old Jay-Z and stuff, I, I bang out to it, but it's like, is the truth so hard for people to swallow? Like, oh, that's not okay because Kanye is trying to unite people and Kanye is trying to break the mind control media and Kanye is trying to have a real discussion and Kanye likes Trump because he understands that the media is lying and Kanye is not talking about, you know, having sex with women on a song. Oh, that's so terrible. Like we're, oh, I'm better than you because that's what I do. I mean, that's the, that's this like lack of delusion and self-awareness like I was talking about with Joy Reid. That's all over the place. So it's like, there's nothing good about being hating. No, nobody looks good hating. Nobody looks good arguing all the time and just, just shutting out ideas down and saying you're racist, you're sexist, and it's terrible. I mean, it's just not cool. So uh, this song is just, you know, another just huge historic push uh, for the culture, especially in the hip hop industry. Very few people are as influential as Kanye West when it comes to a market and a community that does not like Trump overwhelmingly. But I will say there is a silent majority. And Kanye also said in the song, let me, let me see if I can find the lyric. But he said, uh, you know, I, I can't find the exact lyric, but he said, I'm saying this now, but there's a lot of people who think this who are afraid to say it, which is totally true. There is a silent majority. Even in the hip hop community, there's a big silent majority of people who are woken up. And, you know, uh, in the song as well, they said, well, you know, Democrat and Republican. What people also don't understand is this is bigger than Democrat and Republican. Trump is not a normal Republican, okay? He's not like George Bush. He's not like the other George Bush. He's not, uh, he's not a normal, just like puppet president. He's not like, it's not like, oh, he's just another Republican. Like Donald Trump is Donald Trump. It's a historic moment that he's in office. He's a really special person. He's a very free person. And it's like the greatest time to be alive. And it's the greatest time to be us. Because instead of a whole fake PR team around the president where they, they don't care, they have an agenda, that we're gonna start these wars and we're gonna take these freedoms away from you. Trump is the opposite. He's literally listening to my friends. He's literally 
on the phone talking to people that I speak with. You know, he's, he's listening, he's learning. We're shifting the culture. Kanye West and people like that. And I'm not, I'm not saying that like, you know, he's the greatest person ever. Some people are probably sick of hearing of him, but it is that real. That's how real the love is. That's how real the good energy is. That's how real like President Trump is, dude. I mean, even Ray Lewis uh, of the Ravens, who's an NFL analyst now, you know, he was trying to talk about Trump and the media was getting mad at him, but he's like, dude, I talked to him and he's a straight businessman, man. I talked to him about, uh, you know, my organization with Jim Brown to help people in the inner cities and Trump's like, yeah, okay, that sounds good. I'll give you money. That's the type of tr person Trump is. If you tell the truth, He's listening. He's not a puppet, okay? Kanye gets it because Kanye's not a puppet either. And all these other, uh, you know, people, they are. They just go along with the sheep mentality, okay? So I really like this song. I'm going to let you guys listen to it in the link below. I think you just search KanyeWest.com. It's right on his website. Uh, it's the bottom one, Yay versus the people. But this whole song is just truth, 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 truth. I listened to it and I was like, man... This is great to hear. I mean, he literally is just saying what we all think and what we all feel and being like, yo, I'm bringing love to something that the media tried to hate on. I'm bringing unity when you guys are bringing division. I'm bringing a real important discussion when you guys just want me to rap about crack and women. He's like, I've rapped about that before. But even when he rapped about crack, he always, Kanye was always introspective. He was always rapping about materialism and you know like his songs were like how he was addicted to, to materialism but it wasn't good like he's he's always been a revolutionary artist so i just have to say props kanye thank you so much check out the lyrics and check out the song yay versus the people and and regardless of what you think about kanye west and donald trump and whatever this is such a huge deal and and regardless of how you feel conservative liberal libertarian progressive just understand especially if you know me um hate and like critiques and arguments, they're not, get, they're not it's, it's a waste of time sometimes, okay? You know, I'm doing this now, I always try to spread a message of love, but like opinions are a waste of time. Hating is a waste of time. If you love and if you produce good content, you can change the world, okay? You can reach Kanye West and influence Kanye West and be in a Kanye West song and make him shift his lyrics. You can shift the way President Trump thinks in a positive way, okay? If you care about the environment, Guess who President Trump's gonna listen to? Me or somebody in my circle. He's not gonna listen to you because he doesn't like or respect you because you hate on him all the time. And that's how everything works. It's not just President Trump. Hate is overrated. Negativity is overrated. Pessimism is overrated. Optimism is underrated. Love is underrated, okay? And, and this type of mentality that me and Kanye West have, this self-manifestation men mentality and this anti-victimization mentality, it's underrated. Victimization mentality and this leftist, I'm so sorry for wearing a hat that's pink because it doesn't have a penis on it. That's overrated, okay? That's fake activism. That's not empowering the LGBT community. That's weakening the LGBT community. You're telling them, don't worry about the wars. Don't worry about health care. Don't worry about education. Don't worry about infrastructure. Don't worry about the economy. Don't worry about everything that you should be grateful for living in America. Don't be grateful for food and water and shelter and the fact that you even have the luxury to complain about this dumb stuff. They don't tell you that. They say, be mad at everything and be mad at a hat that a 50-year-old woman knitted on the side of the street and sold for $10. That's the big activism scoop. These leftist liberals are liars. And I don't say this with any joy. I'm not competing. I don't think I'm better or special. But they are weakening people. They are weakening the LGBT community. They are weakening the women. They are weakening the black and Latino community. And I don't want to see that. I'm a real activist, so I am trying to empower you. That ideology is underrated. And when you when you make that your world and you live in this weirdo world that, oh my God, I, I can't even believe I said that. I need a PR team to figure it out. You're just manifesting all the worst things. But if you live in a world that you believe in yourself and you're willing to make songs like I just talked about with Kanye West and you're willing to have discussions and you're willing to be grateful for the food and the water and the ability to, com to complain about dumb things that don't even matter, you're blessed, you're privileged, okay? Everyone wants to talk about privilege. We have American privilege, the fact that we have running water and shelter and you know, a, a decent economy that people come here by the droves because they don't have in their country. So we're blessed, we have you know, Western civilization privilege that we don't have to, you know, go to the bathroom in a little hole outside of the house. So 
you know, everybody wants to put their little perspective and negative skewed perspective, but optimism is underrated. Self-belief uh, and self-awareness is, is totally underrated. You know, having a good mentality is overrated. And all this other fake victimization and, you know, worry about hats that someone knits on the side of the road, it's totally overrated and it's totally toxic. So that's my thoughts on, on the Kanye stuff and the Joy Reid stuff. If you're watching this on Facebook, thank you for joining. If you're watching me on YouTube, uh, the Joy Reid one's probably going to be separate. Go watch that one. Go check out Kanye West, uh, Donald Trump on the street. I took to the streets ye yesterday to talk to the people about what they thought, gave them a voice and let them speak their mind. Um, thank you so much for joining. I'm going to post my free email list below. And also my, my donor box link. Thank you guys so much for your support there. It's able to keep this fueling. Now I have all these stuff. I'm going to have a live stream show every Monday now where I have a guest on. I'm very excited for that. It's going to be produced um, by the, the producers of Diamond and Silk's live stream and also Conservative Mama. Uh, she had me on and I spoke and he said, hey, let's get it cracking. So we're going to do uh, every Monday. I'm going to have a guest on and just bring some cool people on. Or maybe some people who disagree with me have some debates. Every Monday now, uh, I'm, I'm hitting the street probably once a week now doing doing different stuff. I got a new rap uh, coming, a new rap remix coming this week. I'm working very, very hard, having a good time as well, trying to bring the truth, knowledge, wisdom, love, and rare talk to you. More rare talk podcasts. Very, very exciting. So I just want to thank you guys again. I'm very grateful to be in America and, and just in this world right now. I'm having a great time. God bless you. God bless the world, God bless America, God bless your family, and God bless all the animals and trees and whatnot. Uh, I appreciate all those as well, and you know, I, I really appreciate the ability to do this right now. I worked very hard for you know seven, eight years, and I still work hard. Uh, so you know, to to have this type of freedom and to have all of you know the resources around me to to make these things happen, the phone and the computer and the editing and stuff, man, it's just a blessing every day. And you know, I'm just trying to spread that good energy, take it and spread it onto the world. So thank you guys so much. Uh, have a good day.